All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Tainted Grail. Uh, so we got two modes. We got the campaign mode and conquest mode. I'm gonna do the comp conquest mode. Uh, and I think this is actually kind of a brilliant idea, an endless roguelike mode, uh, to kind of keep your game interesting while you develop the content, and then you switch all the gameplay over to a campaign mode. Like that sounds really cool. Uh, so heart mode for hardcore players: slay beasts, develop your village, create amazing combinations, of skills, cards, and items with every run. Die often, learn, repeat until you succeed. All right, and I'm gonna quick take a look at the uh, options. There's not much. I'm gonna do map edge scrolling just because. Uh, ooh, voice volume. All right, I'm gonna turn some of this down so we can turn that that back up. Uh, let's see, apply that. Yep, yep. There we go. Yeah, for ages on YouTube, I had a lot of people telling me like, "Don't look at the options. Why do you always look at the option first? And the answer is because freaking. BB man, gotta rep, gotta rep my roots. All right, new game, empty slot, choose. Okay, so I can make. She is kind of ghoulish, and he's pretty boardy. Not gonna lie, I don't really like realism games. It often just looks super bad. All right, I'm gonna make my hair color orange, and my skin color. I don't know. This is okay. Beard style. This is important. I gotta know we have beard, fairly thick, slightly thicker beard. These are my only options. Hopefully, we get more. I'm gonna go with this King guy. Arthur promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas. Rocks like shark teeth in treacherous mists. Those few who manage to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough for a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then nothingness, as reality melted around us. I returned alone, back at the feet of the statue. Buildings, the people, all vanished without a trace. I soon learned I wasn't the only one to return. Others survived out there too. Lost among the ever-changing mists far from the statue. Haunted by a creature never before witnessed. It seems coming to this island was a grave mistake. Avalon was not ours for the taking. Okay, pick your rune. Brawler, Guardian, Berserker. Oh, we can also potentially be a ma mage man, but not yet. I'm gonna go with Guardian. Uh, it won't let me enter a character name, so I guess we just have no name. We'll figure it out. All right. So what do I have? Weird candle allows you to rave weirdness without any repercussions. Radius 30, lasts for five turns. Turns? Turns. Travel map instantly teleports you to your city, safe and sound. Millstone, lost soul. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits among the remains. He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. Who are you? It's not my farm hold, is it? I'm from up north, the land of fog. But this mist, it was all wrong. Have you seen the others? They were right next to me. I 
I don't know what happened. At least that's one thing you have in common. Where your hometown once was, lone man sits among the remains, doesn't notice you. Okay. Meditate, forget skills, and buy supplies? What can we buy? Better sword, better armor. I'm going to go for the rusted chainmail. I don't want to sell it. I want to leave. I don't think I have any skills. Okay. And we'll sell this leather. I guess we can sell the leather armor real quick. It's worth 24. Not enough to buy that, but we can buy healing mixture. All right, let's get out of here and let's figure out how this game works. You walked into weirdness, truly dangerous environment. Combat encounters and weirdness will be harder, much harder, but more profitable. Other interactions on the map can be a little bit different too. Got it. A weird candle in your quick slide. You can click on it to repel the weirdness. Okay. So there's one turn. So we can actually take a look at the map. A little bit. So Pied Piper, Random Group 1 Fight, Armed war Wanderer, Hidden Wealth, Hidden Wealth, Old Merchant. Do we want to go for... Let's go for the Hidden Wealth first. And fight this group of horrors? Well, I like the style for this game, and the voice acting is pretty solid. Combat and Tainted Grail is turn-based, and you're the one who strikes first. Each move you make costs energy. After you run out, run out, you need to manually end your turn. Number in the upper left corner is the energy cost. Okay, got it. Remember to add items you want to use in combat to their slots, combat items, in your inventory. While creating your character, you also pick the rune. All runes have their passive bonuses and ultimates. Charge a rune during combat and use its power to your advantage. Hover over enemies to see their descriptions. Knowing their behavior is crucial. Some enemies are immune to stuns and etc. Always pay attention to enemy intents. These icons explain what they intend to do during their turn. So where you'll see your current armor value of your opponents. Armor is the number of damage reduction. Okay, minus 60% means you'll be attacking for 60% more damage. Last but not least, pay attention to icons appearing under enemy's health bar. They can give you a lot of valuable information. All right, so they're gonna hit me, hit me, we don't know, and hit me again, five, 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 five. Got it. So how much energy do I have? I got three. Okay, so let's do stand your ground, small strikes. I'm just going to spread the love. End turn. Guardian, pick a card for next turn. I guess I'll do that one. It on. Wow. Why did a bunch of them just suddenly die? Oh. Deals damage to everybody on the battlefield, including self. Got it. Kill those guys. We level up. I'm going to wait. Block his hit. Stun him. Wail on him. Nope, can't wail on him. Grab another standard ground. So the abomination is actually pretty helpful. There we go. So we get crafting component and a weird stone heart. It allows you to brave weirdness without any repercussions. Radius 75 lasts for nine turns. Cool. Pick a new card. 10 to 14 times 4 targets a random enemy. 20 to 28 damage. If an enemy is killed by this card, increases damage by 10% permanently. This darn 50 armor. I'm going to go final strike. That sounds really good. I'm going to skip these. New passive skill. Every 15th card played, draw one card, its cost is 0. Extra gold, block all enemy attacks, first round of combat. I'm gonna go for the gold. It's probably not what I want. Oh, 
Okay, so we're probably gonna have to go with that. Against the plague known as the Red Death, shut your door tight and smear them with pig bile. Then climb on your roof and wave young nettles to the four winds to chase the plague away. Oh. Okay, so we've got an old merchant. How much money am I sitting on? I'm sitting on an amount. I do have another warden candle. At least for the time being. Is it weird that weird is spelled with a Y? I, I will it's an older spelling, but it checks out. It's block. So these guys are immune to stun. Alright, so let's just hold on to Final Strike, because I, I want to make that stupid. Seems like I'm not doing nearly as much damage to these guys. Alright. Keep chunking him down. We'll kill him on the next round. That's new. Flesh eating grubs. That sucks. We'll just block a couple. Keep holding on to final strike. Yeah, did they just take your kill away? They did. Not happy about that one. Unfortunately, I might die. I do have a healing potion, though. Okay. So blocking once is good. Stun to choose an enemy. No, we gotta we gotta start killing. I'm just gonna load up here. These things are brutal. Uh, let's grab a stand your ground. Okay, small strikes. Alright, we're good. Uh, let's see. Pop one of those. Grab another stand your ground. We're getting through them. It just hurts. Give that. No, it didn't kill him. Final strike, you have betrayed me. Okay, he's going to hit me twice. Just pop both of those and keep shield dash. There we go. Got it. Hurts pretty bad, though. Stan's Chain. Multiply card effect by the number of cards of the same type played this round. Interesting. Let's go. Sp Ow. Ow. God damn it. My chair just jolted. Unused base energy does not disappear at the end of the turn. Items repelling weirdness last quite twice as long. Let's go for the armor, honestly. Alright, so unfortunately I do not have much, and I'm pretty injured. What? Oh, okay. I don't know why we had to take this long way around. Can a lively tavern in the middle of nowhere be more than a mirage caused by the weirdness? As you approach the building, its small crooked windows seeping light and sounds of merriment, you wonder whether you should risk it. 
Even if the building is real, who would dare to party in such a place at such a time? Rest. It wasn't a particularly good night. The weird sounds coming from below woke you up more times than you could count. Leaving your room, you're a bit surprised that everyone's still drinking and having the same conversations as the night before. For a moment, you realize that there's something bizarre happening at this tavern. Play dice. Nope, I am poor. But I'm not dying anymore. An old man strolls among the trees, observing the ground with interest. Strangely, he holds no weird candle in his hand, only his wooden walking stick. He lights up with joy as he sees you. Oh, hello, Wanderer. I see you two enjoy these strolls through the forest. The man seems weirdly oblivious to the surrounding weirdness. Walking is healthy. While I walk, I find things from all over. Want to see my collection? Buy supplies? Inventory is strange and myriad. Weird meat, unidentified poisonous flowers. Red mushrooms, a noose, burnt out, and useless weird candle. Candle, a severed foot, and some wolfberries. Invite him to your village. How a village? I'm not sure. I like walking. It's healthy. But I shall treat it as an invitation for a walk in a certain direction. Directions are good. Alright, we gotta fight. Alright, so we got... Abomination and Rat. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Small strikes. Hold on to stand your ground. If I can block their hits, that's good. So do we take the 20? Alright, we'll just hit him. I'm going to just use final strike to finish him off. I don't want to take too much damage. Eventually, I'd like it like to get it so that final strike is actually stupid strong. I don't have too much of a choice here. I'm just going to take this hit. There we go. Well, we got another travel map and some food. What's my HP at? Pretty bad. And to guard thyself against the play. Oh, we already read that. That was just lore. Well, do I want to go up for the Pied Piper? All right now, let's just go here. Looks like a bunch of tier one group fights, mostly. Challenging, trivial. Go for the trivial fight, if I can. I will end you. Okay, what's that? Preparing for a special attack. Oh, immune to stun, of course. Bring it on. Okay, I gotta kill that thing. Put up the barrier, because I'm going to take some hits. Hold on to Spike's throw. Yeah, I figured this would happen. Alright, 
that puts them all in final stri strike territory. I'll grab it. Unfortunately, I get the feeling this is not going to work out that hot for me. Oh. There we go. I guess they all just died. Oh, because the other thing hit everybody. That's the trick. Yeah, the abomination will help me. That's a good point. Let's just go with the draw. I have no idea if that helps. I got a fallen knight, though. What's my HP looking? Bad. Talk to him first. A tired knight sits under a slumping willow, his clothes caked in old dried blood. Next to him rests a discarded shield and a suit of armor. The blade lies in the grass just beyond his reach. What madman would deprive himself of arms in such a place? Oh, I was hoping for someone more substantial. You're not my doom. Or maybe. He thinks a while before he continues. You see, upon my knighting in Camelot, I swore my entire life to hunting beasts of weirdness. My head was filled with knightly ideals. Stories about Arthur's invincible knights who slew monsters by the dozens. The weirdness. It took these dreams, these vain, glorious visions of myself, and turned them real. I was a slayer. No beast could touch me. I killed more of them than I can count. Alas, I cannot leave the weirdness. Months turned into years. Years turned to decades. I am so tired now. Yet I can't find an enemy that would best me. Please. Can you help? How can I help? I'm undefeatable in combat. But if you were to sneak up on me, you could perhaps end my life with a swift blow. I beg you to leave now and return when I'm not expecting you. You can then take all I have as a reward. And please, whatever happens, don't try to fight me. I'm going to stay right here. Not that it matters. Weirdness will move me where it wills. Farewell. For both our sakes, I hope I won't hear you coming. Let's see, I got some hunting grounds over here. The local hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father and lay charms and offerings around it. The legends say the stag father takes the dreamers away to join him on a great hunt. Risk it. You lay down and discover the inside of the skulls marked with crude red paintings depic depicting scenes of the hunt. As you observe them, they seem to start moving. The hunters of yore are talking to you. Let's forget two skills. Get rid of attack and attack. You drift off under the ochre-painted constellation into a restless sleep where you chase a young dove in the hills just outside of your village. You waken early in the morning with a cold, sweaty body and several cuts weren't there yesterday. A taste of blood fills your mouth. Beside you, some fresh pieces of meat lay carefully wrapped in leaves. All right, I'm pretty messed up, so let's go back home. Can I, like, hang and rest? Okay, doesn't look like I can. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor. That they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain, like moths to the flame. I'm going to try boosting the range and carving my name into it. Oh. 
Finds a fragment of your soul to it. You can travel between any milestones you've marked this way. Oh. Lay your head here, and don't worry. But remember, this works only one time. Okay. So let's rest. Let's buy some things. Let's see. Let's buy the better sword. Get that. Sell the throwing knife. Yeah, because I need better equipment. Okay. That boosts my damage. Alright, sell that. We want the wordstone heart. And I want the I want the potions. Right, so if I go back into my inventory, these are combat. These are less useful than I was hoping they would be. Well. We're just going to run up north. This time. Challenging. These are trivial. really enjoying the story in this it seems neat yeah i will end you it's definitely like an odd duck game but it's neat okay i don't have too much this guy's only going to do a little bit of damage to me so blocking it seems pointless so i'm just going to go for that Hold on to stand your ground. I don't know what this character is going to do, but it's not going to be as damaging as attack. Oh, they're going to heal. Okay. Keep holding on to st stand your ground. Alright. Let's do that. Small strikes, other small strikes. Interesting, my final strikes damage range has changed. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to stand your ground for the time being. Okay, what is this? Apply buff. Can I just shield bash that guy? And wallop her down. Hopefully we get final strike on the next round. Nope, we don't. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Attack him. I'll go for small on. strikes. Okay, final strike. Grab that. Yeah, I mostly want to... I want to farm as much as I can with this final strike. Because if I can get it so it actually does, like, a silly amount of damage, works in my favor. Stand your ground. Draw. Do we kill him? Yeah, I'll just kill him in this case. I'd like to increase my energy by one, or if I could... Decrease the cost of things by one. That would actually be quite nice. So it's a group of four. How... You know what? Screw it. Everything is risk. So we're just... Just gonna give it a go? See how, see how it goes. Alright, so we've got abominations, and unfortunately... This is gonna freaking hurt. Hold on to that one.
Okay, I'm not gonna pop draw. I'll hold on to it though. Got it. Worked for me. I'm surprised I haven't leveled up yet. I would I would have assumed I would I would have leveled, or maybe I did. I don't know if I care about any of these. I don't even know what that necessarily gets me. Blood altar. These crystals were already here when the first men landed on the island, but they don't look like something made by the four dwellers either. Their origin doesn't matter much, as most of them had been damaged by bandits looking for valuables, or simply smashed by vandals who enjoyed the way they crumble into pieces. However, you can still sense a glimpse of faint power in this place. A power that calls for your blood. Blood! Leaving. As that would be death. Well, do I try and fight it? I'll try and fight it. This one's going to be challenging, so we'll see how this goes. Let's draw. I'm going to just do a shield bash and an attack. Hold on to stand your ground. Okay. It doesn't seem like it's interested in fighting me. Okay. Hold on to stand your ground. He's going to hit me a bunch. Let's see. Oh, this is my guardian. Once per round, for every charge consumed, draw one card, gain one energy. Ooh. Charge event, every stance card played. Got it. Okay, I'm going to hold on to shield bash. Okay, let's shield bash. I'm going to stand your ground and draw. I'm going to hold on to final strike. Okay, end round, hold on to final strike again. Alright, ooh, that one's gonna hit. It's Pop Guardian. Draw, it's only gonna hit me once. How much energy do I still have? I got five. I'm going to keep standing my ground. I'm curious if these carry over. Because if they do, that's awesome. They don't. That sucks. I understand how this fight works, though, which is quite nice. Uh, let's hold on to Shield Bash. I really should probably use it when he does the multi-strike attack instead.
Because that'll keep me from taking damage. Knowing that I have that is going to make a huge difference. So... I want to use this on nine charges. Alright, let's stun him. Hit him once. Pop the draw. And then I'm just going to stand my ground. Okay. Let's see. Pick this one. Hold on. Alright, let's draw. Shield bash. Gain some energy, draw some draw some cards. I'm just gonna pop those. We wanna final strike it. Uh let's see. I'll just hold on to an attack, I guess. I don't actually know if this is worth it. Eh. There it is. I don't know if that was worth it. Looks like it was going to heal itself at the end there. Oh, of course it would. Back to the pipe. As you camper. walk carefully among the woods, a quick, lithe creature runs towards you. It takes you a while to realize it's a human. He brandishes a short wooden stick, screaming and shouting in despair. My children! I've seen what you've done to my children. Children? Barbarian! Sacrilegious scum! You shouldn't have done that. What will I do without them? You watch him confused. He looks malnourished, like he's had nothing to eat since he entered the weirdness. You're sure that was a long, long time ago. I failed them. I couldn't protect them. I'm not worthy of it anymore. Turns out the stick he tried to beat you with was an instrument, a flute. He snuffles. The flute is strange. Mysterious markings and blood-covered surface. It. It's your duty now. Why would I need a weird flute? He plays a simple melody. Suddenly rats swarm over you. You've seen enough of them already to know how this will end. Ask him to stop. Why? They were my children. My lovely children. Look. He plays a simple melody and the rats suddenly stop. Some sway left and right as if dancing to the rhythm of the song. You see? They would never hurt me. Alright, I'll take your flute. Use it. Use it every time you see them. Play this every time you see my children. Promise me! Promise! You bow to the stranger and leave him to his madness. Alright, so I got a wooden flute. Uh, where can I? Can I equip it? Oh, there it is. I see. So I'll I'll just have to keep an eye out for children. Armed wanderer, all mother's altar. That seems like it's worth going for. We got two of those. Hopefully they're healing related. Can I do anything at these? If I do that... Okay, that actually opens up this whole area. Can I just skip the fight? All mother's shrines were a common sight across Avalon. Despite their grim existence, settlers were grateful to the goddess, and they had good reason to be. For every ten people who set sail for Avalon, only four would reach the island, and only one or two would survive the first year. Who knows? Perhaps it is her mercy that brought you back. The shrine has faint traces of power lingering in the air, a priestess materializes out of the weirdness and asks what it is that you're looking for. Heal me. I 
One weapon in hand, one weapon in his back. The strike, this strikes you as a bit excessive unless he's, tra he, unless he's a traveling weaponsmith. The blood covering his leather jerkin is not his. A good sign that means that means he can take care Before of himself. Before you get any stupid ideas, I used to be a master of arms at Halfway. Trained many young warriors there. If you have any gold to spare, I might teach you a thing or two. Makes a gesture suggesting that his teachings won't come for free, though. Not the most useful. Alright, trivial against one dude. We can fight this guy. I will end you. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna take some take a hit here. Let's crank his damage down. Hold on to final strike. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna stun him. Let's hold on to the block. He's gonna hit me pretty hard. Wow, I could've used this a while ago. Bring it on. Yeah, he only attacks me once. So I can just keep hitting him with that. Yeah, I just got really unlucky with my utter lack of blocks. Speaking of utter lack of blocks... Alright, let's enter and hold on to shield bash. Shield bash him. Attack him once. Get him low, hold on to stand your ground. Hopefully I get final strike back shortly. Uh. Doesn't give me any good. Uh, doesn't do me any good. Alright, hold on to the next one. There it is. Bammo. Luckily only I attacked once, so I didn't have to worry about it too much. Okay, so I can't do that again. Are these rats? I see rats there. Let's go inventory for a second. Let's eat. I don't have a whole lot of good healing, which is rough. But I'm gonna go fight these guys. I'm pretty sure there's a rat in this mix. What the? Oh boy. That's freaking horrifying. I'm gonna just hold on to that. That didn't last nearly long enough for my needs. I'm probably gonna die here. Well, we'll find out. It's about it's about time to die anyway. Just fighting large groups of enemies is a little painful in this game. Bring it on. For most, death is final, a place from which they'll never return. For some, it's a place of eternal torment. In which they come back as monsters. You, on the other hand, find yourself in a desolate and peaceful land, lit only by the cold glow of stars, way out in the sky. 